What's up guys, Andre here. I'm coming at you with a recipe today. This one is my second favorite soup recipe. The, the, first, the first favorite's gonna be coming soon. You'll have to wait for that one, but today we're gonna be making butternut squash soup. So here are the ingredients. <laughs> like, it's a really simple soup. There's really not that much that goes into it. And uh, we're gonna start things off with the squash. <laughs> so, first we gotta cube this puppy up. All right, cool, so we just have to give this thing a quick whack. Oh, man, I should have got a bigger cutting board. <laughs> All right, so peeled, chopped. Now we gotta throw this on a cookie sheet and roast it. All right, I should have told you this earlier, but preheat the oven to 400 and here it is on the sheet. We just did salt, pepper, olive oil. You should really season everything as you go. And then in the end, like the saltiness is usually pretty good. So let's throw this in and it's gonna be in there for about 45 minutes or until it's like golden brown and roasty. Next I gotta prep what they call the Holy Trinity. Luckily that's what the French call it for soups. Or mirepoix, I think it's called, which is carrots, celery, and onion. And then also garlic is just always important in soups. <laughs> so we're gonna chop this all up and start sauteing it in a big stock pot. And this is what we're gonna cook the soup in. All right, so we just wanna give this uh, onion a rough chop. Like nothing too, you don't have to worry about it too much because it's all gonna be blended in the end once we, uh, once we blend it. <laughs> Next, we're going to chop up some celery. That's probably good. Honestly, this might be too much. <laughs> so, I'm going to avoid putting these purple ones in. Oh, God. <laughs> because, uh... <laughs> because I think it's going to ruin... It's going to ruin the color. And we want the soup nice and bright orange because butternut squash soups are always super sexy. <laughs> Here, I know what to do with these. <laughs> there you go, Wrigley. <laughs> anyway, um, this guy. And with a little bit of kosher salt, Remember, season everything as you go, and a little bit of black pepper, which uh, I don't know where I put. Like I was saying, <laughs> put some black pepper in this as we go. <laughs> and we're just gonna wanna go ahead and sweat these onions and celery and carrots for, I would say about 10, 15 minutes. You don't wanna get too much like golden color on the onions. You just want them to turn translucent. And then in like the last minute of cooking this, that's when we throw the garlic in. Because we don't want to brown the garlic. You just want to sizzle it until it's fragrant. What's up, Brett? You smelling what the chef is cooking in here? No, I'm not. I smell anything. <laughs> All right, while we're waiting for that to cook down, we're going to chop up some garlic real quick. Oh, God. It exploded. <laughs> So, I like more garlic than less, so I'm thinking like six or seven cloves. All right, let's give this a job. Andre, why don't we use this garlic? Hey, hey, hey that's top secret. You're not supposed to see that one yet. <laughs> that's not ready yet. Let's use some fresh garlic. Garlic, baby. Nature's medicine. Garlic can actually cure most diseases. I don't know if people know that. It has uh, healing properties. And uh, I'm sort of making this up, but it's kind of true. Now guys, see, if you start to see this uh, fond, fond happening on the bottom, that's a good sign, we want that. That's what's gonna add a bunch of flavor later. All right, so my roommate Brett just had surgery for his deviated septum, and his nose is all fucked up. Hey Brett, does this smell pretty good? <laughs> 
Does it smell like blood? <laughs> he doesn't sound amused. So now we're gonna throw in the garlic. I like to just throw in a tiny bit of oil and dump the garlic right on the oil. Kind of like make a clearing in the, in the center of the pot. You're just gonna wanna give that garlic a quick sizzle in the oil probably for like about a minute until it starts to smell nice and fragrant. All right, next we're just gonna hit it with some tomato paste. I don't know, just like a good little squirt of that. <laughs> now, don't be alarmed. This is gonna start caramelizing onto the bottom of the pan or pot. And it's gonna be start, it might start to get a little bit dark, but that's okay, we want that. When we uh, pour in the chicken stock, it's gonna deglaze all that goodness off the bottom, and that's just gonna add some good, roasty flavor to this. All right, last step, we're gonna deglaze with some chicken stock. So crank your heat up to high, pour that in. You can just do a little to start. I'm probably fogging up the lens there. <laughs> but you wanna scrape all that goodness off the bottom. It's gonna release nice and easy now that there's liquid in there. All right, Gina's helping me out here, but we forgot to throw in the apple. <laughs> this uh, Granny Smith apple, it's gonna add a lot of sweetness that this soup is gonna need. And I didn't wanna like go and like put something unhealthy in it, like sugar or some people put maple syrup. I think an apple will do just fine. All right, me and Gina were thinking about how we can make this a little unique. Add a little bit of umami to this. So we're thinking a little soy sauce and some white miso paste, which is like fermented soybeans. This is gonna add a little bit of that, just that little secret, secret little flavor where like, oh, what is that? What's that taste? Oh, it's nothing. Just butternut squash. <laughs> little glug glug of this. Boop, 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 boop. There we go. Not too much, just a little bit. <laughs> Not I bet a bad idea to take it out halfway and give it a little tossy toss. <laughs> I'm gonna throw it in for like the last 10 minutes on broil so we get some of those real caramelized bits on the top. Bada bing, bada boom, hit this shit on broil. Come on, baby, start. Hey, Gina, so far, it's really working. come check this shit out. <laughs> I think it's ready. All right. Oh, what was that? <laughs> All right, check this out. We got some serious caramelization in happening on the top. That's gonna be some serious flavor. Wish I burn my mouth and try this. Oh, no, I can't. Oh. <laughs> All right, this is final production. We got part one that we made earlier. Pretty much just drop the squash in. Squash the squash into the pot. Bam! Try not to splash yourself. And then uh, that's pretty much it. Minus blending. Nice little vacuum right here. Thank you, Wrigley. That's the nice part about having a dog, you know? I never have to clean up the floor. I can just drop shit whenever. Wrigley will help me clean it up. You guys see that right there? That is some serious flavor that that's gonna add to this soup. That's what you wanna see. Don't take it out of the oven until it looks just like that. Hey Andre, what are you eating? What? Oh, nothing. No, we're, we're eating healthy tonight. Vegetable soup is on the menu. <laughs> Alright, get over here. <laughs> We're looking in that. If you've never made this before, I would say do all the seasoning at the end because, you know, you, you kind of get a feel for it once you make it one or two times. But I already know it's going to need a little spice, so we're going to throw in some cayenne. Just a little like, ba 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 ba. there you go. <laughs> you know, I don't really fuck around too much with measurements, you know, you just, just dump in what feels right. And then we're going to do a little cinnamon and nutmeg and this is really going to give it that like holiday flair now be careful with these because it's really easy to overdo it i mean the cinnamon you know not too crazy but like definitely don't too, go too crazy on the nutmeg because nutmeg can be pretty overpowering so 
Little dashy dash, there we go. Now, most people are gonna tell you to like, let that simmer for a hot minute, but we're all hungry right now, so we're just gonna blend it now. <laughs> so let's take this over here, because it's the only place we have an outlet apparently. And we're gonna use one of these guys. If you guys uh, don't have one of these, you should get one. It's an immersion blender. So you can just stick it right in and blend in the pot. All right, we're just gonna give this a blend. We might need a little more liquid. Um, if you end up needing more liquid and you have more chicken stock, you can use that. Or just throw a splash of water, that's fine. So last thing that people usually add to butternut squash soup is like something rich to kind of like brighten up the flavor. Now you don't have to do this if you want it to like keep it low calorie because it's pretty much all vegetables right now. But we're just gonna throw in like a little bit of coconut cream. You can use like heavy cream or coconut milk or butter even if you want. All that stuff is really gonna brighten up the flavor and the color and just give it this real nice taste. All right, we got it blended, and we got it to the consistency we want. And this is where you're gonna wanna taste it for final seasoning. So, mm, that's good. Maybe you need some heat. I think ours, I'm gonna want a little more of that cinnamon flavor. So we're gonna do a couple more dashes of cinnamon and a little bit more nutmeg. The heat right now is actually perfect. So no more like cayenne or pepper. Maybe just like another tiny little dash of salt and I think this thing's gonna be perfect. I almost forgot, we got some uh, some pumpkin seeds here that I'm just gonna, I'm just toasting up here real quick. Just give them a light toast. Those are gonna be the, the garnish and add a little bit of crunch. All right, soup's done, on to final production. I'm gonna use this comically large ladle <laughs> to serve it up. Here we go, a little, little bit of soup. Mm. Just a little extra of that coconut cream. Some toasted pumpkin seeds. Pile some of those guys up. Oh, well, they're sizzling. And then just a dash of cinnamon. Oh, a little much, but <laughs> perfect. There you go. Homemade butternut squash soup. So good, so good guys. I'm telling you, you're gonna wanna make this for your upcoming Thanksgiving and Christmas parties because it's just that good. Like, you show up with this stuff, you're gonna be wowing all your guests. So I hope you guys liked the recipe. I hope you were entertained. This is the first cooking video I did, so you know, we're working out some of the kinks, but more recipes to come, especially my favorite soup recipe, stay tuned. That's gonna be a good one. And until then, We'll catch you in the next one.